For too long, greatness has gone unnoticed. A smothering attack by Layla Ali. Ask Layla Ali. Or Lucia Riker. Ask Ann Wolf or Christy Martin. For far too long, women have fought on the B side of the sport, if they fought at all. Facing off against lesser opposition to a mostly indifferent audience that would rather see them hold up a ring card than throw an uppercut. Until a phoenix rose from the concrete of Flint, Michigan, and the game began to change. A no-nonsense champion that at only 24 years old has already seen and conquered so much. The list of firsts run deep for Clarissa Shields. First American boxer, male or female, to win consecutive Olympic gold medals. I did something that made history. Fastest in women's boxing history to win five titles in two weight divisions. First female to headline a main event on premium TV. Now Shields has set her sights on being the one to revolutionize the sport in the U.S. and take it to heights unseen. Tonight is my night. I'm going to make history. As she strives to fulfill her self-proclaimed destiny as the GWOAT, greatest woman of all time. In Europe, women's boxing is already on the map, and German superstar Christina Hammer is the face of the sport's growing popularity. She has reigned over the middleweight division for nearly a decade with style, a stiff jab, and an undeniable mastery of the sweet science. She's a tactician in the ring, a champion, an icon. She is Lady Hammer. If ever there was a worthy opponent to the seemingly unstoppable force that is Clarissa Shields, it is this five-time champion. And make no mistake about it, this will be the biggest fight in women's boxing history. It's the fight that's time has finally come. Shields versus Hammer for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. I'm the greatest woman of all time. I'm the champ. This is All Access. Shields versus Hammer. to the press conference and uh, yeah it's very excited to be in New York and to be all this media stuff and uh, yeah I'm happy. Nobody believed Muhammad Ali when he said he was the greatest of all time. Nobody believed him. He felt that way before he said it. Way before he let the words come out of his mouth he felt that. And I've been feeling like I was the best fighter in the world since I was 13 years old. So now we're talking about plus 10 years and I've only lost one fight in my entire life. Just a lot of you know a lot of talking going on but you know I hit her too. <laughs> That's how you deal with that. <laughs> I think I have more experience because I'm a long time champion. Uh, I have 24 and all. And uh, I can use my reach, my footwork, and I can keep the distance. I fought against the best girls from Russia, the best girls from Sweden, the best girls from Turkey, the best girls from. A Kazakhstan. I've beat them all, and all these girls have different styles. I've, I've taken on girls way bigger and way stronger than Christina Hammer. But, like I said, she's a professional and she's been undefeated. But she's never fought against somebody like me. So, I just, you know, let her, you know, have her confidence for now. But she won't have none after the first round in our fight. Yep, I feel good. You know, I don't know about her, you know, but me, I knew that this was going to come, and she's the victim, not me. I'm chasing the prey. Are you studying her? I mean, you watching all the films, or you already you know yes, of all of her I moves? I maybe two years. She's it's ready. It's just amazing. I'm, I'm so excited. I want four of them. I don't blame you. You should. This fight is not happening because I like her. It's happening because we don't like each other. We want to fight each other. She thinks she's better than me. I think I'm better than her. And we want to fight. That's the main thing. And this is the most notoriety that a woman boxing match or woman fighters have ever gotten. 
is now. The time is now for us. So the main thing I do is kick ass, though. That's why they really get it behind me, and that's why we're booming right now, because I get out there and I T-Rex. <laughs> What's the feeling like knowing that you got this big fight ahead of you? I'm just glad she showed up this time. If it seems like these two fighters are familiar with one another, you'd be right. Scheduled to face off in November 2018, an undisclosed illness forced Hammer to withdraw. And action. <laughs> now, with the press conference on hand, it's clear that familiarity breeds contempt. Everyone asking me, when you fight Shields, when you fight Shields, we want to see it. And that's really good. Let's start off by getting one thing straight here. This is an important fight. I don't hate her. I feel nothing. I'm emotionless for her. Two elite skilled boxers, the best fighting the best. If you're not interested in this fight, then candidly, you're not a boxing fan. This has been long overdue, but now I'm happy she'll actually be inside the ring, and I can show her how much of a fake champion I really am. After the Hannah Gabriel's fight, you said on social media that she was beatable. What did you see in that fight? Um, that fight was a really good one. I'm sitting next to the ringside, and they fight each other with no defense and beating. <laughs> but I see in this first round, she's beatable. Dropping her hands. That's probably not a good idea. When she's coming forward, she's open, and you can use that. And Hannah Gabriel used it for one second with his uppercut. Then she goes down. Uppercut and down goes Shields! She talks about me getting knocked down. She got knocked down by Sophie Ann Mattis and didn't get back up. I got knocked down and got back up. And it wasn't called a DQ when I got knocked down, because I got back up. Four, five, six. Stuff like that is how I know we built different. That's going to end kind of the way it started for the battle. And she's not a better fighter than Hannah Gabriels. She's here. She fought on this card. It's Christina Hammer next. Call me in the ring now. Right here behind. Hammer out. Whoop your ass. When Christina Hammer beat Tori Nelson, I didn't jump in the ring, even though I could have. I think it's normal that fighters going to push each other and it's like show of boxing. When she got in the ring, I tried to snatch her. She's coming in front of me and holding the hand of uh, me. I'm like, what's going on? I push her back. I wanted to grab her shirt and let her know you're next to let her know I'm not scared of you. What you gonna do to me? I'll whoop your little way. Right here. Thinking you gonna press me out, especially when we in Detroit. You're not gonna press me out in front of my people. Never. I don't wanna be the bad guy. But when a girl steps me the wrong way and she's thinking it's okay to talk about my mom or my sister, <laughs> now we really got a problem. I mean, a lot of emotion going on right now. Yeah, that's what it is. Listen, keep on harassing me on the internet, doing what y'all do. She can keep posting her bikini pictures, keep liking them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, You're this jealous, is what Miss Watson. I'm not jealous. My butt's bigger than yours. I'm not jealous of you. Yeah. Uh, see what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. I've got DMs from my fans where she's DM them saying I'm ugly. She DM them saying I'm fat. Some guy commented on, on her page and said I was a transvestite or something. And she liked the comment. And it was like, and you call yourself being a world champion? It's OK, because I'm going to break her face when we fight. I know. I heard it a few times. And it's not new for me, because maybe she's jealous on my face. I don't know, but uh, she has to catch me before she's mess up my face. So let me ask you this, Clarissa. She's stronger, more experienced. That will be the difference. You say well. She's beatable. I don't have to keep it a secret. She punches with her chin up in the air. She has a long jab. Uh, she do not know how to fight on the inside, and she don't have balance on her legs. Have fun working on that for six weeks. <laughs> and you have to work on your weight. 
I'm 174 right now. You're bigger than me right now. You what? think so? No, nah, to me, Christina Hammer a real nasty person. You know, just her attitude and her way of going about boxing, you know. Um, I don't like her, but I don't hate her. It's like nothing. Oh, Lord knows I'm not, I'm, I'm so prepared for this fight. If the fight was tomorrow, I'd knock her out, though. Right now. I do my job. I want to win this fight, and I want to be the honest people champion. Yo, it's grass, and I hope she know that. Have you ever thought about losing? Have you, has that ever come into your mind? No. I think it's a wrong motivation when you think about losing. When losing is in your head, you lose. There we go. There we go. Oh, Dimitri, in the middle, you're fine. In combat, a fighter must be 100% certain they are going to come out victorious. Any fraction of doubt and one is almost guaranteed certain defeat. Talk is just part of the mind games fighters so often play. A means to an end to get that extra edge, that crucial iota of conviction. April 13th. What? April 13th. Yeah, I see you in the ring. Yeah, I see you. Yeah. I'll be there. You show up. Yeah, I will be there. But the time for talk is over. As the rigors of training camp loom on the horizon, one is headed back to Colorado, where she first learned to become a champion on the national stage. The other to the demanding high altitudes of the Austrian Alps. When they emerge, they will know that on April 13th, they will be victorious. Only thing is, one of them is dead wrong.